In this video, I'm going to be showing you the best PS5 DNS settings, which will hopefully boost your download speeds, reduce internet ping, and fix lag. So, the first thing you want to do to improve your internet speed is head on over to the settings tab. And from here, simply select network. Next, go to connection status because we're going to be testing our internet connection speed so we can actually get a baseline of how well it's actually improved once we've changed these settings. So go ahead and do this right now and I'll be back with you guys in one moment. Okay, so for our internet connection speed test, the download is 18.2 megabytes per second and the upload speed is 7.3. So make sure to write yours down because we're gonna be changing the settings now to try and improve this. So just simply head on over to settings and we're gonna to go to set up internet connection. Now, assuming you're already connected to your internet, we're gonna be pressing the start button on your controller and this is going to take us to the options. So the first thing we're going to be looking at is Wi-Fi frequency bands. Now the default setting is set to automatic however we are going to be adjusting this depending on how far away your console is from your internet router. So if you're far away from your router it's better to actually use 2.4 gigahertz per second which is sacrificing internet speed for distance whereas if your PlayStation console is close to your router it's better to be using the five gigahertz per second which is going to increase the speed now ideally you want to be using a wired connection i understand that in cer certain circumstances you may not be able to use one however best thing you can do is use a wired connection and if not adjust the wi-fi frequency bands to fit your situation so we're just going to leave it on five i'm pretty close to my actual router so once you've set the wi-fi frequency bands we're now going to go to the advanced settings tab so press the options button on the ps5 controller go to advanced settings and from here we're going to scroll on down to dns settings which by default is going to be on automatic so we're going to be changing this to manual and you can see primary dns and secondary dns now the two most popular dns servers for gaming are the google public dns and cloudflare so the Google public DNS is actually already inputted on here. And the primary DNS for this is 8.8.8.8. And for the secondary DNS, it's 8.8.4.4. So if you want to test the Google public DNS, just simply input these numbers here, go on back to test internet connection and see what type of score you get for downloads and uploads and see if it's better than the baseline. Now for my internet personally, I found I find Cloudflare best. So for Cloudflare, it's 1.1.1.1. Enter that, and that is for the primary DNS. And for the secondary DNS for Cloudflare, we're going to be using 1.0.0.1. So this is the Cloudflare DNS, and if you want to test this one out as well, I highly recommend it to figure out which DNS settings are best for your individual internet. So we went and selected OK. It's just simply working its way through here. And now this is where we're going to find out whether or not the internet has improved. So we're gonna go back from where we were and now we're gonna go to connection status and test the internet connection. So I have personally used these DNS servers before and I've always found Cloudflare the best, but make sure to go test out the Google DNS server as well because it might be better for your individual internet. All right, so the final tally, 24.4 megabyte per second download speed and 7.5 megabyte per second upload speed. So it looks like the download speed significantly improved, whereas the upload speed didn't increase that much. However, when it comes to gaming, those extra few megabytes makes a very big difference. So everyone, I hope this video helped you find the best DNS settings for the PlayStation 5. If you want more PlayStation 5 tips and tricks videos, be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. And other than that, guys, I'd like to thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.